How are we everyone? Today I just want to talk about changing out a fly rod's real seat. I bought a fly rod on Facebook Marketplace. It was the uh, beginner model, like it comes in a kit. Uh, the reel wasn't really good, but the rod and the fly line were just fine. I decided to change out the real seat, which I think was like the cheapest part of it. Uh, really uh, kind of flimsy and made of plastic. So I ended up buying a $20 aluminum reel seat on, uh, from Mudhole Outfitters, which I'll give you the link in the description. And uh, it came out excellent. Uh, the old rod seat, like I said, it was plastic. Uh, it had a lot of give to the reel. It really didn't hold the reel in there very well. And this, this new one, the aluminum rod seat that I got from Model Outfitters, it did a lot for the look of the fly rod and the functionality. It holds it nice and tight and a very simple upgrade. Now the fly rod looks like a $150 fly rod as opposed to a $20 fly rod. What you're looking at here is the previous real seat. As you can tell, it is plastic, uh, flimsy. Kind of junky looking. It does have these metal tabs on it, but it still had a lot of give in the reel, so I wanted to change it out. Unfortunately, I did already change it out, so I can't show you the entire process, but I'm pretty sure I can get you through it just by talking about it here. So the first thing I did was the cork grip, as you can see in the back there. Uh, I just kind of twisted that right off, and it came off fairly easily, uh, and the cork stayed perfectly intact. And then... I uh, just simply, this is a twist lock here, just untwist that all the way, and that just comes right off, okay, put that down there. This up here was just glued on pretty cheaply, so I was able to just kind of hold it really good, give it a twist, the glue popped off, and I was able to just take that right off too. As you can see, that cheap glue barely glued on there. So now, to get this plastic tube off, it was right up in here. I just took a Dremel. There's a line right down the back of the real seat. Took a Dremel, made sure not to cut too deep, because if you cut too deep, you'll get into the cork that's behind the real seat. So nice light cut right through here, just enough to get through the plastic. Once I did that, I was able to get a screwdriver right in here and just kind of pried it up. Like I said, it was kind of glued very cheaply. I was able to kind of give it a couple twists and remove it. Then what I did was basically just measure the inside of this. What's behind here is a cork. It's like a cork and epoxy in there. Uh, and that's what you really, you need the, the down to the millimeter measurement of this inside diameter. Go on Mud Hole Outfitters, find your inside diameter that you're looking for. Uh, and you also want to measure how long it is from here to here. Uh, once you find the real seat you're looking for, order it up. Once it comes in, you just want to, if it's not a perfect fit, I just sanded down the cork that was behind here. Give it a nice sand, made it nice and smooth. Uh, the, the fighting boat wasn't on that was off but still basically you just want to take some five minute epoxy and I just nice and even, nice even coat not a lot because you're just gonna end up when you push this on it's gonna end up building up here around the uh, mouth here so when you're putting it on nice easy gentle as it's coming on, you want to take a uh, cotton swab or a Q-tip and just kind of mop up the excess epoxy around the top because you really don't want it to build up up here. So do that, then bring it all the way up to the top. Make sure it's aligned correctly. So on this rod, the hook holder lined up with the where the reel should be perfectly so I just made sure that that was aligned up perfectly let it set overnight five minutes it sets and I think it said uh, I want to say four or five hours for cure time I just let it sit overnight just to be sure uh, also at the same time you want to put your your five minute epoxy around the blank of the rod down here set your cork fighting uh, butt right back in there and you'll be good to go the very next day.
And as you can tell, it does a lot for the look of the reel. And it does a lot for the functionality too. This is 10 times more sturdy than it was. All right, there you have it. Uh, $20 reel seat replacement repair. Does a lot for the look of your rod. Does a lot for the functionality of your rod. I highly recommend it if you have one of those plastic reel seats on there. And it also isn't gonna break the bank. Like I said, I got this rod reel line. It was like a beginner kit on Facebook Marketplace. I think it was $50 that I paid. The line I'm gonna keep, the reel I'll probably just keep for practice. It is kind of junk, but uh, replace that reel seat, $20. So you're looking at $70 for a decent rod, which as you know, if you've looked uh, anywhere else for fly rods, $70 is probably cheaper than you're gonna get it pretty much anywhere else for a decent rod. And I, I've casted this rod and it works flawlessly. Uh, has that tip flex that I really wanted, so I wanted to salvage the rod. Excellent idea to replace the real seat. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hit that like button for me, that really helps out. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see some more content, and I'll see you on the water.